load curves and load duration curves. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the load curves in the power system. Describe the load duration curves in the power system. Lovacity. It is considered to be built with a strong and good infrastructure with a suitable environment. The core infrastructure elements of this city include 24 by 7 water and power supply, transport system and waste management system, reliable IT network, health care, education facilities, etc. Electricity plays a vital role in maintaining these infrastructural elements efficiently. The general electrical loads of this city comprises of domestic loads which include appliances such as lights, television, refrigerators, air conditioners, etc. Commercial loads like lighting for shops, advertisements and electrical appliances used in shops and restaurants, etc. And the municipal loads that consist of street lighting. The power consumption by these loads keep on varying day and night and also from season to season. In order to meet out these load demands, the operation of the generating units that supply the power should be scheduled. This operation scheduling requires accurate prediction of the load demand, which is a challenging task due to the diversified and varying patterns of the load. Load curves help in predicting this load demand. Let us see about the load curves in detail. A load curve is a graphic record showing the variation of the load with respect to time which the power station has to supply. Such a curve depicting the load consumed for an hour is called hourly load curve. If a curve is plotted, Recording the load consumed in a duration of 24 hours, then it is called daily load curve. If the same curve displays the load demands of a month, then it is called a monthly load. And if it is for a year, then it is a yearly load curve. The typical load data for low city consumed by lighting, domestic and commercial loads in a day is shown. Based on this load data, a load curve is drawn between load in kilowatt and duration in hours. The area under the load curve represents the energy that has to be generated in a day by the power station to meet out the load demands. So, the units generated by the generating station of the Lova city is equal to 4500 into 6 plus 3500 into 2 plus 7500 into 4 plus 2000 into 2 plus 8000 into 4 plus 2500 into 2 plus 5000 into 4, which is equal to 1 lakh and 25,000 kilowatt hour. From the load curve, the average load on the power station for a particular day is calculated by the area under the curve divided by the total number of hours. The average load for the Lova city is equal to 1,25,000 divided by 24. That is equal to 5,208 kW. The peak load on the day indicated by the load curve represents the maximum demand on the power station. Here, the maximum load demand of the city is equal to 8,000 kW. Load curves give information that decides the installed capacity of the power station and the economical sizes of various generating units. These curves also help to estimate the generating cost and to decide the operating schedule of the power station. In order to evaluate the reliability of the generating units, the load demand that persists for a particular duration should be known. For that, we need load duration curve. A load duration curve represents rearrangements of all the load elements in the order of descending magnitude. 
a load duration data is obtained by arranging the load values in the descending order from the load data and by cumulatively adding the load duration. A load duration curve is drawn from the load duration data. Load duration curve gives a clear analysis of generating power economically. Proper selection of base load and peak load on power plants becomes easier. For the Lova city, the peak load is 8000 kilowatt for the duration of 4 hours and the base load is 2000 kilowatt for the duration of 24 hours. Using this load curve and load duration curve, the operation of the generating units in the power station supplying power to Lova city is scheduled in order to meet out the load demands. In this way, the infrastructure elements of the Lova city are maintained efficiently. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you have learned a curve representing the variation of load on the power station with respect to time is called load curve. A curve between the load and time in which the ordinates representing the load plotted in the order of decreasing magnitude is called load duration curve.